It is Saturday. That means Saturday Showcase. That means I take a model from the collection and show you everything I've got, working through all of the versions and variations that have been released. But we're going to do it a little bit differently. This has come at the request of many of you, considering we just showed the modern classics, which are hitting stores now, the latest assortment from the Hot Wheels car culture line. I thought it'd be good to show every car culture model released so far. And then at the end, I'm going to show you my top five. And I hope you guys jump in and include your top five in the comment section. So we are going to get right to it. There's our little display. Let's get a little bit of a zoom in and make sure we are ready to go. All right. By now, hopefully you know what the car culture line is. It was released by Hot Wheels. I think it started about a year and a half ago. It is a premium line. That means metal bases, real rider wheels, which are two-piece wheels with rubber tires. And the great thing, and the thing that I think is most unique about car culture as we start taking a look, is that each assortment of five models has a different theme. That means different artwork on the cards. The models are related in some way, shape, or form. And each one has a subname. So there's car culture as the overall line. And then there is a a specific name for that line. So we start with still the legendary release of the car culture line. It was Japan Historics. It set the collector world on its head when Hot Wheels did it. I'm not trying to be true to too dramatic, but I think that's a true statement. And it starts with this one. This is the Ken Mary Skyline, the Skyline C110. I think it's the 2000 or is it the uh, HT 2000 GTR, I think is the name that uh, that Hot Wheels uses for this, in a police livery. This also marked the first time that uh, the four-spoke real rider, which is very much a Japanese-style wheel, was introduced. And this was introduced in this line as well. All right. I won't be talking that much. Well, I probably will be. But this started, started with the Ken Mary. There were five models in here. Japan Historics obviously means that they were nostalgic Japanese cars. Toyota 2000 GT was also in the line. This one is based on a classic race car, which was, I think, a really nice thing considering how rare the 2000 GT is in real life. Seeing Hot Wheels do a real... I, mean, I don't think this was officially a licensed uh, uh, racing livery, but it was very similar to the yellow and green racing car that we've seen. You can see... It has all of the Japan Historics had these logos on it, including the Japanese Nostalgic Car, Goodyear, JCCH, JCCS, which is the Japanese Classic Car Show, Toyota 2000 GT, the most popular of the Japan Historics, definitely this one. Anytime the Datsun Wagon is, uh, is released, it's a big deal. This was the signature model of the Japan Historics line in black with an Advan livery. And, of course, those awesome four-spoke wheels with the red trim. We've seen that wagon quite a bit, so I'm not going to keep it there too long. You had one Skyline, why not two, right? So this is based on, this is the Hakoska Skyline. One of the only ones, in, interestingly, they didn't have the taillights painted in. But on the Watanabe wheels, on a classic racing livery for the um, for the Skyline. So all these now, that Advan livery on the... Uh, on the wagon doesn't make you know isn't something that I think is we've seen before in real life, but all the others are somewhat based on real decos. The new model in this series, and it was the Mazda RX3. One thing I loved about this one is the purple color and the cool four spokes, just fully in chrome. You can see how deep they are. They really, really stand out on this one. This one was designed by Mark Jones for this series, and we've seen it obviously again. We'll see it again. One thing that uh, I never noticed is that the this was number five of five in the Japan Historics line. If there's a new casting in Japan in car culture, it gets the final slot, the five of five. So we'll keep showing those last one. Next one, Euro Racer. Obviously Euro cars. So these were going to be current or somewhat current European race cars or speed car or sports cars. Porsche 911, right? GT3, RS GT, GT3 RS, I think is this casting. Um, not my favorite of the car culture line. The wheels were okay. It's an Urban Outlaw Magnus Walker uh, deco on it. I think this could have looked better, but, you know, that's just my opinion. Especially when it doesn't get the uh, headlights 
or the tail lights. But this one did. Surprisingly, the Fiat 500 got full deco. So why, how that one happened on the Fiat, I don't know. But I, this is kind of the little underrated model of car culture. Not a lot of people love the Fiat, but I think the Fiat casting is nearly perfect, whether, whether you like the actual Fiat or not. This was another new real rider introduced. It's what would you call it? The lace real rider. It doesn't really look like a real rider because those those spokes have to be painted in and they look a little well the the wheels look plastic. So it's not the best real rider, but still looks good on here and they need more modern wheels like this. So this one worked well. Fiat 500 was cool. Glad they colored in that deco. Wish they would have done it on this one though. Still, this is where the lace wheels look awesome. E30 M3 1990, what is it, 2 BMW. Always like this casting. This was the first, um, there's been two versions. Well, obviously, see the last one in Modern Classics. In a police car, European police deco livery. Love that. Porsche 911-993. Another one we've seen a lot of. Juna Mai's design. This one didn't need front tampos because it has the uh, plastic headlights, part of the window piece. Lace wheels look really good on this one. I don't know if that purple deco is based on anything, but it does look good. I I always prefer these models looking a little more plain, but I understand you got to make them stand out. And I thought this one looked pretty cool. So the Euro Racers, that may have been my favorite along with the Fiat. Here is the new model, the 5 of 5, was the Golf MK7. This one, I think, was kind of a bummer for people because the casting looks great, the wheels look good, but the deco doesn't really stand out, and boy, it really would have been nice to see that grill and the headlights at least colored in in some way, shape, or form. So this one kind of looks more like a blue egg. But great casting, and we've seen it, obviously, released a few times. So you're a racer. Next up, Trucks. Here's the great thing about car culture. You can go whatever direction you want. You want to do historic Japan? You want to do current Japan? You want to do Euro ra European race cars and then follow it up with pickup trucks? And that's the theme? Great. And they did. So pickup trucks was the theme. This is the... What model is this? Is that Ford F-150? I do like the Ford F-150. There's my dog barking. This one did get full deco, at least on the back, and then the side stripe. I like the real riders on this one. This model, the Ford F-150 casting has been around a while. We've seen it in a few incarnations. This one, I think, was with, was put with this uh, rack on the back for entertainment for Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Chevy Silverado. I've always wondered if my example from this set, if the wheels are... A little bit lowered on the front if they were supposed to but it does roll I know it's off camera but it does roll so it looks like it has a bit of a rake on it this one was released originally in the main line with that motorcycle it's since been modified to not have the motorcycle it's a big casting Ford Ranchero do you call this a truck I know it's like an El Camino type you know truck car hybrid type thing but who cares? I love it. I love the grill, that Torino grill. Big fan of the Ranchero. This one was popular because it's a Datsun 620. Datsun 620 is always popular, but of all the 620s, and I featured this casting before, this may be my least favorite. I don't like the color, and I don't like the deco. I don't think that kind of sporty deco works on this one. I'd like to see this one more as like a shop truck type of thing still though happy to have it the disc wheels looks kind of cool of course Jap almost every Japanese car is going to have the Japanese nostalgic car livery on it those guys are cool dudes and they obviously have a good good relationship with Hot Wheels all right love this one my favorite from the truck series the Subaru Brat this casting was released in, I think, the Hot Ones or whatever that line was in orange. Then we saw it in Boulevard. 
We've seen it in the main line, I think, once. But this Zamac version, raw, a raw body with black trim, taillights done. This is, and then, of course, the brat on that uh, on that back pillar there. This one I love. Maybe not the most realistic deco, but I just it doesn't matter. It just looks awesome. I love the Brat, too, so no argument there. Okay, that was Trucks, now Track Day. Not to be confused with Race Day, but in 2016 there was Track Day. The model most I think was most popular is this one. Because it's a Datsun 510, that's just what happens. <laughs> this is somewhat based on a rally-style um, racing deco. Gretty... Uh, Japanese nostalgic cars on there. I think a couple others like it with the Steelies. This was the most popular model of race day. My favorite model from, or I'm sorry, track day. No race day. Oh, see now I've confused myself and I had it all figured out before. This one is my favorite model from the series. The Chevy Chevelle SS. Love the casting and I dig it in just this understated white. Again, you don't totally miss the headlights and taillights on this one just because of the way it's made with the grill and the bumpers being all separate parts. I mean, I'd love to have the detail there, but if but on this casting, you don't miss it as much on, as, say, like that M3 BMW. Porsche 935. Debuted on Hot Wheels Racing, a premium line that was after vintage racing. This one gets those lace wheels, which look pretty good. Again, this is an Urban Outlaw Deco. It's okay. It looks better a little bit later if you guys remember from... Now that I've forgotten. Race day. Track day. Oh man, I blew that, huh? Carmen Ghia. This was a surprisingly a mainline release. You won't see this in the mainline anymore. It actually was released with a metal base in, I think, 2006. And this, uh, if I can do this, this separate engine piece, or the separate engine cover that uh, shows the engine. It's part of the metal base. And just snap that back in. Pretty cool, right? It's a pretty crazy casting. Kind of a dragster gear, but I do like it <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Just because it's so over the top. All right. Oh, little speck of something there. This is the five of five in that casting. Trucks did not have a new casting. Track day, race day. Ugh, again, you guys are going to leave the comments down below. Um, did another Magnus Walker des design. Porsche 964. This one is great. Again, the Magnus Walker Deco, not necessarily my thing. I know a lot of people like it, and I like that it has kind of a raw look to it, kind of a vintage look to it. Um, so I'm not complaining too much because it's cool with the blue, with the blue and the red. But I would have seen, loved to see this debut a little bit differently. Who cares? It's a great casting. We know it's released just recently again, and it looks great. Love the casting. Mark Jones designed it. He designs most of the car culture stuff. So that was the new deco. All right. That was 2016. And then we move on to two. Well, maybe this was, was this 2017? I don't remember. All I know is it's car culture. Red liners, which was very, a lot of you were very happy to see muscle cars all of a sudden pop in. I too, as, as a big a fan as I am of the European cars and of the Japanese cars, especially, I was really excited to see the uh, muscle cars pop in here too here's the 19 was it 70 dodge charger red white and blue deco urban outlaw which is magnus walker again he just doesn't do porsches or at least in the hot wheels world and i like this one of all the magnus walker models um, that have been released in car culture the dodge charger is by far my favorite by far i love this one especially with those black trans am style rims Capo Corvette, Copo Corvette. You guys tell me how to pronounce it. Another casting I like. This is what, a 69, 68? Let's see if it says on the base. 68. It's hard to see there, but it's there. 
I like this one too because it's an understated deco. Doesn't need the front and rear tampos really because um, because it just looks good. I mean, rear I guess would be, would be nice. Front doesn't really need it. Another of my another just current casting I really like, or I'm sorry, muscle car casting I really like. It just kind of came in a kind of a bland color, but it's the Mercury Cougar. This is a casting I collect. If one gets released, it goes in the collection without a doubt. This one is a premium version based on on the uh, premium version that was made for a convention car a couple of years ago. If you look at it compared to the mainline version, it's just a little bit different. Okay, this is going to be a long video, right? Because we're 15 minutes in and I'm still going. But we'll just keep going as fast as we can. Chevy Gasser, the Bel Air Gasser, needs no introduction. One of the most popular Hot Wheels castings there is. This one flew out of all the red liners. This one was always the first to go. Deco's cool on it. You can put any deco on the Gasser. It's going to look good. So you'll never hear me complain about a Gasser deco. Some people kind of think that's a little bit like that kind of lacy style. I don't know what you would call this, wallpapery. <laughs> I don't care. I love it. Do whatever you want. It's a gasser, right? It's a gasser. Make it pink and put moon eyes and call it a candy striper. And it might become the most sought after Hot Wheels there ever was. If you ever want to do that, Hot Wheels. I don't think they've ever have done that. Done one in hot Spectre Flame pink called a candy striper. It seems like a great idea. So run with it, Hot Wheels. You're welcome. All right. This was not technically a new model, but I think it was a new model. I think it was supposed to be released before the main line. No, I'm not entirely sure, but it did get the 5 of 5 slot. This is the, uh, what do they call this one? 69 Corvette Racer, has no roof to it. I like this one, love the deco on this one. I don't know which one would be my favorite of this, of this, of the Red Liners release, but this one might be. I really like it. I actually found one with no side tampos either. Didn't look nearly as good. All right. That was that. Now it's time for air cooled. Again, pick a theme, run with it. As long as it's popular, as long as they can, as long as people at Mattel and other stores feel like it can sell, go with whatever theme you want to go with. Call it grocery getters. Call it whatever. Okay, air cooled is the theme. You know, if you know what air cooled is, you know why there's a Porsche there, especially an old classic Porsche. Porsche 356, what is it, A? And kind of a classic racing livery. Would have loved tail lights and headlights on this one, but still looks good. Looks really good, especially with those steelies. This was a mainline model, right? The casting was released in the mainline. Another car culture favorite because they put the four spokes on this one, the Volkswagen Squareback. This model's been released in a few different lines. And I think it started in one of the garage lines or slick rides, I think is what it was called but none have looked as good as this one. Again, front headlights would have been nice, but not, I can live without it, especially from that side view. Anything that has that wagon silhouette and then it's lowered and it sits on those four spokes, especially they did them in gold. Love, love, love that one. Volkswagen SP2, it's a Brazilian car. Brazilian sports car that apparently had no power, but man, it looks good. Shout out to Meus Amigos no Brasil. There you go. I love that it's in Brazilian color. Some of you didn't like this one. It hangs. It's a peg warmer. That's of all the car culture, it's probably the number one peg warmer. But give it some love. It deserves it. The SP2 is cool. And I like it. Wheels could have been better. I'll say that. Wheels could have been better. Deco's awesome. I love the uh, Brazilian deco on that one. So, winner in my book. This one I don't care too much about. Volkswagen, what is it, a custom beetle? Kind of a racing beetle. Never been a casting I love, but I, but I will collect it when it's in this series. So, I've got one. If you're going to do it, make it look this good because it does look good. I would have preferred maybe a more stock-like beetle, but I don't think... Hot Wheels did it, plus they already had a new model for this series, the 5 of 5, an air-cooled Fiat 500. This is tremendous. 
small, small four spoke wheels. This was the introduction of the small four spoke wheels, which you customizers, <laughs> you gobbled this model up to get those wheels. Hopefully you kept at least one or two intact because this is a really, really cool model. Again, headlights would have been nice on this one, headlight deco, but I love the pearl color. I love the racing style. And this casting is tiny. Love this model. Hopefully we'll, I mean, we will see it again at some point. I just wonder when. All right. Track day was one. This is right. I think this is track day. I think race two is the first one. I'm in the middle of the video. I'm not going to break away and look it up. So track day was one. Race day is the other. Easy to mix up. Starts with the Porsche 935. I showed you the Magnus Walker one. This one in the Momo or livery is just tremendous. Also, introduction of a new wheel, the new aero style real rider. So this is the third, right? The third style. We've seen the large lace, the small lace, and of course the tiny four spoke, but we've had the four spoke, the lace wheel, and now the aero uh, real rider. I think those are the three that have been introduced in car culture. You can see how much car culture is done in the hobby already. Love the Porsche and the red with the red aero style, the 935. I think that's been a favorite of many. Here's the Porsche 914, VW Porsche, call it what you want. Magnus Walker again. This one's a little cleaner, I think, in terms of what of my style, what I like. Um, still dig the Charger the most. So this one looks nice. This one started in Garage, I think. And then we saw it in Boulevard, I think, too. Kind of a modified Porsche 914. Okay, we start seeing some repeats in car culture. Was this the first repeat? I don't remember. I think it is. Mazda RX-3 debuted, obviously, in Japan Historics in purple. And here it is now in the track day line. Still has the four-spoke wheels, but now it's in a yellow and green. This is also loosely based on, a, on an RX-3 racing livery. Whew, we're 22 minutes in. I hope you guys are sticking with me here. Mazda, or sorry, Mazda. Acura NSX, this one has been around a while, but this is the first time it goes into a premium line and the first time it sports this new base. If you look at the old one, it doesn't have all these, uh, all of these, like that front chin, that spoiler chin, the side skirts, and then this rear racing piece or this whatever. And then, is this, yeah, and then a metal, no, I think that's plastic, then a plastic, uh, still has the plastic uh, spoiler. You actually get a better sense that this is an NSX. The old NSX, racing NSX, you couldn't tell at all. So there it is in an Advan livery. I really like that one. And then the new model, the 5 of 5 from Track Day, the Porsche. I always get my numbers mixed up. Porsche 962. Grady livery based on a, loosely based on a actual racing livery. This is a heavy model with the, a lot of metal on the body, metal base. Aero style wheel. Sorry guys, got cut away for a second, but I didn't do my research anyway on the track day versus race day, so you're just gonna have to bear with me. Do do the research yourself. Back to that Porsche 962. That was the final new model, and we're at the final one. We've already looked at these models fairly quickly, so we'll go through them. Honda CRX. If you want to spend a lot of times, I'll let it give it one rotation. This was the premium version. There's also a mainline version. I think I discussed that in the Modern Classics um, video. Renault Turbo 5. Also loosely based on a racing livery. Very cool white rims. E30, 92 BMW E30. M3. Aero style wheels look so great on this one. I agree with everyone who has said since we did that video that this one could really, really use front and rear tampos. Completely agree. I do like the M-Stripe, though. So in my displays, this one sits on a side profile, so it's going to look good. But yeah, definitely could use front and rear. Okay, I called this model perfect. I still believe it's perfect. Porsche 964. You had the Magnus one before, the Magnus Deco. This one just trumps it by a billion. 
solid black has the rear uh the rear taillight piece is part of the window has the headlights tampoed and then the real rider the arrow real riders perfect model red base red interior and then another perfect model modern classics bmw or not bmw mercedes-benz um 190e and there's some other numbers evo 2 right perfect 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 front and rear tampos this model needs to look black it's black i'm sure we'll see it again in other colors or other decos this one will never be beat and it doesn't have to be it's perfect all right what's my top five you you've seen them all you put your top five in the in the uh comments below i'm actually grabbing my top five and putting to the side here i get an uh let's see there's this one and then there's this one and there's this one and there's this one and i know it's still blank and what was my uh last one there it is there is my top five i'll give you a couple of honorable mentions like things like the dotson wagon of course everyone's gonna like it but little sleeper ones this white chevy chevelle I absolutely adore, but it doesn't make my top five. But it looks really, really good. Another honorable mention that I wish I could put in there, but I can't, is the VW Squareback with the four-spoke wheels. There's others, too, uh, like the BMW M3 and some others, but I think those will be on some of your favorite lists. The Momo Porsche uh, 935. Here's my top five. Going from number five, Fiat 500. I adore the model. I adore the style. I adore the size. I adore the wheels. I adore the gold or like kind of that tan gold four spoke real rider. That is number five in my favorites. Number four, Subaru Brat, Zamac Raw, Simple Deco, that Brat. Uh, on the fi on the uh, rear panel there, or on the rear, uh, yeah, on the rear panel pillar. Sorry, getting a little tired. We're a few minutes in. Um, so that's number four. Number three. From the original Japan Historics line, as great as the wagon is, as great as the RX three is, this is the best model in that series. Because it's based loosely on a racing livery on the Toyota, Toyota 2000 GT. This looks great. This is the best version of that casting. Even though there's a super treasure hunt done. This is by far the best one. Wheels, everything is perfect. I would like to see some rear tampos. That's okay because it makes up for it in other areas. So that's number three. Number two. I can't, I can't ignore it if I said it was perfect, right? I've already told you how much I love this one. I love it. The wheels, those arrow real riders just done in plain gray really make this model just stand out. That is number two. And number one, I'll give you one second to predict. I bet you'll get it. Best car culture model ever, or at least so far, because there's some doozies coming. Um, there it is. 190 Evo, 190E Evo 2 by Mercedes-Benz. A great return for Mercedes-Benz and Hot Wheels. I say perfect. It is perfect. Now, will it get competition later? Well, when you have a Skyline wagon coming, when you have a Nissan Laurel coming, yeah, it's going to get some competition. Um... Some of these others that I have heard rumors of, it's going to get plenty of competition in 2018. But right now, there is the best car culture model or my favorite. Leave your top five down. I want to hear what you guys think. This is a long video. Thanks for sitting through it, guys. Thanks for watching the channel. Thanks for subscribing. You're all great. We have lots of good stuff coming. Happy Saturday. Bye.